The Vapor Carburetor. Real or myth? Ah, the legend of the Vapor Carburetor. It's one of those stories that has permeated car enthusiast circles for decades. The idea is pretty straightforward. A device that vaporizes gasoline before it gets injected into the engine, delivering exceptional fuel efficiency, sometimes reported as achieving over 100 miles per gallon. Now let's break this down. Hash, hash, hash. The theory. The concept behind a vapor carburetor is fascinating. In theory, vaporizing gasoline completely before combustion should allow for a more consistent and thorough burn, thereby extracting more energy from the same amount of fuel. It's an appealing notion, especially when we're all searching for ways to stretch a gallon of gas further. Hash, hash, hash the claims. In the 1970s, several DIY tinkerers and even some smaller tech publications claimed that they developed such devices. They presented anecdotal evidence of cars achieving exceptional mileage, which captivated the public imagination. Hash, hash, hash the science. Here's where things get sticky. While it's true that gasoline vaporizes, the effective and complete vaporization necessary to achieve the purported fuel efficiencies is extremely challenging. Combustion engines are designed to work with a mix of air and liquid fuel droplets. Introducing a fully vaporized fuel-air mixture doesn't necessarily mean better performance. It can lead to issues like pre-detonation, also known as knocking, which can damage the engine. Hash, hash, hash. The reality, most conventional car engines aren't designed to handle a fully vaporized fuel mixture. The gains touted by proponents of vapor carburetors often ignore practical engineering roadblocks and the actual physics of engine performance. Modern fuel injection systems already do an efficient job of mixing fuel and air in a way that optimizes combustion. Hash, hash, hash conspiracy theories. You've likely heard the counter argument. Big oil companies and automakers are suppressing this technology to keep profits high. While it's tempting to believe, there isn't solid evidence to support these claims. What's more feasible is that achieving those levels of fuel efficiency requires a multifaceted approach, including weight reduction, aerodynamics, and advanced electronics, rather than just one miracle device. Hash, hash, hash modern perspective. These days, advancements in fuel efficiency are being driven by new technologies like hybrid systems, electric vehicles, and more efficient internal combustion engines. If the vapor carburetor was as revolutionary as claimed, it would likely have been adopted, refined, and commercialized by now. Hash, hash, hash final thoughts. So, while the idea of a vapor carburetor that can push your mileage past the 100 mpg mark is captivating, it remains largely in the realm of myth and legend. The reality of achieving high fuel efficiency involves a broader, more integrated approach than just vaporizing gasoline. Stay curious, but maybe stick to tried and true methods for now. Best Scott.